Hi guys! Welcome or welcome back. We are about to get into Never Let Me Go episode 6. Um, we left off in a very dramatic fashion, of course. Mama just got shot. Um, we just had their kiss scene um, up on the rooftop. Um, you know, dad... It was... It was Palm was just smiling. He was going to blow everybody's cover. Anyway, the motorcycles came up the drive, and the next thing we know, boom, boom, bam, they're in a van um, on the way to an undisclosed location. Um, apparently, that's a plan that's been put in motion for Palm and um, Palm's dad. So, um, that's basically, I figure, out, um, what we're about to start off from. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we already know what I'm about to say, right? What was that? <laughs> what was that? I just, I have questions, they need answers, and then those answers will probably have more questions, okay? Um, one going forward. This episode was three days approximately I, I think I saw them change the clothes three times right and in it we met mom who didn't even know what her son looked like so that's a one a sad little point there two we we got palm to smile correct me if I'm wrong I don't think I've seen him smile not like this and he's a man of few words so he says he has like his facial expressions are often like okay and I've been getting on him about it because sometimes, unless I'm looking here, I can't really tell what he's feeling. And so this episode, all I could tell was what he was feeling. It was just, he was like in protector mode. He was, he was comfortable and relaxed. He, he was like flirty. He, it was just so much, you know, like it was just so much. And I was so happy that he got to experience that because I feel like he's always experienced worker mode because of his dad, and so I think his mom would have been that relaxed side that he didn't really get, and so away from his dad, not that he doesn't love his dad, but I think away from the pressure of like the city and his dad, he's able to relax, and in relaxing, he's able to have fun with this, I mean, basically with this boy that he likes, you know, um, and so I, I just thought that was, I think that it's really, like, it feels very authentic authentic to just have two boys out exploring the town just relaxed and having fun you know um we have absolutely no update on mom or his dad we have no idea what's going on on the other side of the world basically we only know what's happening in this little island and um palm's mom definitely knows what's up what's up she she is no fool um I think that baby N, because I for his life of I me, mean, I can't say his name. I'm I'm gonna go back to baby boy. I think that he under he can tell that he likes Palm, right? And like I said before, his only way of addressing that is is biting, and he bites so well. I mean, the whole thing when they were speaking Mandarin and then English and like palm not knowing what's going on french boy for not and they were just conversing and every and then he comes back and he'd be like you're a fool and i just i went straight back to last episode and the the um cast like connect okay um some people just don't get languages and that's okay that's okay and then you know palm got to see i i don't know if it's just me but i noticed a lot that when they're um particularly in LGBT shows, when a potential couple is, like, close to that mark or, like, getting a little flirty, for some reason, they always see an older couple, not necessarily older as an old, just older, um, holding hands together, walking down the street, and then, like, one of the two would, like, look at them and be like, you can tell they're thinking in their head, I want that to be us, right? Um, sometimes it's both of them, but in this case, it was palm looking and him be like are they a couple you know um i caught couples as soon as they walked up because that's just the bl pattern but i'm gonna let them pretend like that wasn't obvious um 
and then the beach it was like a beach hopping scene like i'm under the assumption they went to multiple locations it could just be one beach but i'm gonna assume that it's multiple beaches right at least two it's gonna be at least two beaches because i think they climbed out of the cave onto the top part of the beach but to get from to get to the cave it feels like a separate beach um anyway that moment where they were just playing and relaxed and, and just basically on their date, you know? And all the hand-holding. Why were we clasping hands so much? Y'all been walking for 16 years. You don't need no one to hold your hand no more. <laughs> um, I thought that was really cute. And I'm just, I'm, I watched the preview. We, we watched the preview. You watched it with me. Um, so I'm really excited for next episode. One, I don't think it was um, because of noon. The, the bully from the school. I know it wasn't him. My money's on uncle. My money's usually on uncle because he just seems like a bad fellow. That's just my personal opinion. Until it's proven otherwise, this is what I'm working with, right? So my money's uncle. Um, I'm excited because I think next episode is going to be um, time for Ben and Cousin to like get reacquainted and see if that's going to develop into something. Um, so I'm excited about that. Not necessarily excited. Just kind of looking forward to it slightly i'm not super invested in them just yet um i was only invested in them in ben not being with baby boy so now that he's not with baby boy he's become less relevant to me not in like a mean way just like a and you just his his story is not popping out to me just yet um but i'm hoping that the next episode he does that for me right and the next episode is going to be real interesting because they're getting really flirty, like play fight flirty. And we know what play fight flirty leads to. It leads to kissing. Almost all. I have yet to see play fight flirting not lead to kissing. You only play fight flirt with someone you want to kiss subconsciously, subconsciously or otherwise. That's the only time it happens. So knowing that, right, next episode, like... I'm going to need some confessions because if baby boy goes off and dates somebody else again, I'm going to have a problem. Do, Palm, do not let this boy go off and date somebody else again. I'm going to have an issue. Also, wouldn't it be totally random if the guys who were trying to get Palm's mom to pay money actually worked for the uncle? That'd be crazy, right? Because I think that's what it is. I think that's going to be how the uncle finds out where... um baby boy is because i don't think it's going to be mom or dad who finds out first for some reason i feel like it's going to be uncle or if if not uncle first then uncle simultaneously like they're going to find out at the same time um because i just i just i don't see uncle not involving himself in some way shape or form and if not involving himself getting there first by himself because you cannot like him but i feel like the man is resourceful my personal opinion um but other than that i'm really looking forward to the next episode um i'm excited to see what they're doing really well so far this is definitely going to go in my top um bls i think i'm noticing a pattern with me i think i like the teen cutesy ones i wouldn't say the best but the depth i think i have more of those in my top than not i'll have to check it out I have, you know what, I'll have to sit down one day and really pick, like, a top ten from the ones that I watched and, like, really enjoyed. That's a good idea. I might try that one day. We'll see. Anyway, that's all for me. If you like this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time.